हेलो एवरीवन वन अमरात्र का भौमे कैन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्ट्स टुडे ऑन लाइव लॉ वे वी अपडेट यू अबाउट ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट लीगल डेवलपमेंट्स दैट टुक प्लेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री टुडे वी विल बिगिन विद डेवलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड देन मूव ऑन टू हाई कोर्ट्स एंड अदर सबॉर्डिनेट कोर्ट्स इफ यू लाइक अर कंटेंट देन प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स बिगिन Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur today informed in the morning that there will be no vacation benches for the Supreme Court during the winter break which starts from tomorrow the court will reopen on January 2nd next year there will be no benches available after tomorrow till 2nd of January 2023 the CJ informed the lawyers when the sitting started in the morning No case is too small for the Supreme Court said the Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur today while asking if we do not act in matters of personal liberty and grant relief then what are we doing here incidentally the union law minister Kiran Rijiju had commented yesterday in the parliament that the Supreme Court should not be hearing bail applications and should rather hear constitutional matters the cgi's comments which might come across as a probable response to the law minister statement came while hearing a case in which a person had undergone consecutive sentences to the tune of total 18 years for the theft of electricity the supreme court of india has asked the national medical council to broaden its framework to be more inclusive towards persons with disabilities and form a committee to have a relook at the provisions barring persons having more than 40% disability from mbbs admissions this remark was made by a bench comprising cgi dy chandrachur and justice ps narasimha in a petition challenging the 2019 amendment to the regulations on graduate medical education 1997 act to the extent that it precludes candidates with speech and language benchmark disability from availing reservation and taking admission in mbbs courses the lok sabha was informed that the central bureau of investigations scrutiny of the allegations of impropriety corruption and political bias against a former chief justice of the madras high court that is justice v k tahil ramani did not reveal the commission of any cognizable offence in 2019 the then chief justice of india ranjan gogoi had directed the central agency to take action against her in accordance with law on the strength of a five page report by the intelligence bureau flagging the judge's alleged illegal acquisition of property in chennai the decision to dissolve a special bench dealing with idol theft cases and her alleged close ties with the tamil nadu minister the supreme court of india has adjourned the petition filed by the government of andhra pradesh seeking a fair equitable and expeditious division of assets and liabilities of the erstwhile state of andhra pradesh between the states of andhra pradesh and telangana in terms of the apportionment made under the andhra pradesh reorganization act of 2014 and ordered it to be listed in the second week of january the supreme court of india has agreed to the request made by advocate prashant bhushan to decide whether the guidelines made under the case of prakash singh and others versus union of india are applicable to the appointment of delhi police commissioner even after the retirement of rakesh asthana as the delhi police commissioner this matter was heard by a bench comprising chief justice of india dy chandrachur and justice ps narasimha the bench was hearing a petition filed challenging rakesh asthana's appointment as the delhi police commissioner The Supreme Court of India has directed the National Medical Council to not disturb the admission of a neat UG candidate who passed her 10 plus 2 courses as a private student from the National Institute of Open Schooling that is NIOS. The matter was heard by a bench comprising Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur and Justice P S Narasimha. The court also directed the NIOS to file an affidavit in pursuance of its stand before the delhi high court the petitioner had apparently appeared for exams conducted for the 11th and 12th exams the supreme court of india has stayed the arrest of the now resigned principal of indore's government new law college dr inamur rahman in an fir registered over an allegedly hindu phobic book in the college library 
The matter was heard by a bench comprising Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur and Justice P.S. Narasimha. The complaint was filed by a third-year LLM student. The counsel for the petition submitted that the book in question was published in 2014 and was purchased by the college in 2014 as well. As per the petitioner, he was a professor in the college at that time and not the principal of the college. The Supreme Court of India has issued notice on a writ petition seeking reservation for persons belonging to the SC, ST, OBC and PWD categories in respect of appointments to central government posts and services in temporary appointments which are to last for 45 days or more and to positions in autonomous institutions and universities that are receiving grants in aid from the government of India. A bench comprising Justices Sanjeev Khanna and M.M. Sundresh considered the matter. Senior advocate Sanjay Hegre appeared on behalf of the petitioner. The Bombay High Court has allowed Delhi University Associate Professor Hani Babu, accused in the Bhima Koragao case, to undergo cataract surgery at a private hospital in the city of Mumbai. A division bench led by Justice A.S. Gadkari directed Babu, currently lodged in Taloja prison, to be escorted to the private hospital on Tuesday, further permitting hospitalization for four days. During this time, he would also undergo diagnosis for upper abdominal pain and osteoarthritis. The Karnataka High Court has granted interim relief to Congress leaders Rahul Gandhi, Jairam Ramesh and Supriya Sharante in the FIR registered by music company MRT Music over the alleged copyright infringement by the use of the song from the Kannada movie KGF Chapter 2 in the promotional video for the Bharat Joro Yatra. The court stayed the investigation in the FIR until the next date of hearing. A single judge bench of Justice Sunil Datta Yadav passed the order after hearing the arguments of senior advocate A.S. Punana on behalf of the petitioners. The Delhi High Court is set to decide a question as to whether under Article 226 of the Constitution, it can grant furlough to a convict under Delhi prison rules when his appeal is pending before the Supreme Court. Rules 1199 and 1200 deal with the grant of parole and furlough to prisoners. Justice Amit Mahajan, who was dealing with a bunch of petitions raising similar issues, framed seven questions for consideration on this issue. The court has appointed senior advocate Siddharth Dave as amicus curiae in this matter while listing the matter for hearing next on December 21st. Thank you. Keep watching courts today on Live Law for more such updates.